Thanks very much for speaking to us. So, as we were saying, Philips has come in above expectations. What does this say about consumer confidence in Europe? Yes, uh, good morning to you all. Uh, Philips is coming with numbers which are indeed uh, north of the consensus, both in terms of revenue as well as in terms of margin. I think that if you look at the geographic spread of the revenue, you could see that uh, North America was actually uh, down 10 percent. Europe was actually flat year on year. So it seems, and that's the answer to your question, that uh, the sentiment in Europe has stabilized versus what it was a year ago. And uh, the emerging market, all in all, grew 8 percent. So as far as consumer sentiment is concerned, I would say a mixed picture, certainly in North America, and a sentiment which seems to have stabilized in Europe. Overall, uh, sales are down compared with about a year ago. How has the economic crisis affected demand for your products? Well, I think you have to look at it uh, uh, sector by sector. Uh, at the end of this uh, year, 2009, Philips is getting out of it as a simpler, more agile and more resilient group. And you can see it through our portfolio. You can see, for instance, that our healthcare business, which grew in 2008 fourth quarter by 9%, still managed to only come down by 2% in this uh, particular quarter, actually down 1% in this particular quarter. Our lighting business, which was already in negative growth uh, last quarter in 2008, actually is at even on this particular quarter, so nice, I would say, rebound quarter after quarter. And finally, our lifestyle business is for the first time in a positive growth territory versus the quarter of last year. So you can see that the beauty of having a balanced portfolio is making each of those product categories uh, react a little bit different to the cycle. So let me then ask you about cost savings because Philips aims to reduce its 2010 fixed cost base by more than 600 million euros in 2010 compared with 2008 and said it wanted to cut 6,000 jobs in 2009. How is this progressing? Well, we have indeed announced that if you compare our fixed cost base of 2010 versus a fixed cost base of 2008, uh, there will be a reduction in excess of 700 million euros, 400 out of those 700 having already helped the year 2009 versus the year 2008. So that's basically the summary of it. As far as uh, jobs are concerned, we've actually added jobs uh, in certain territories and we have, uh, as part of uh, the acquisitions we've done through the year, we've reduced jobs in a couple of territories and the net balance is yeah. indeed in so, the so round you, of the So you, you have, have started hiring more people. Can you tell us in which divisions? Yeah, sure. We have actually made a succession of acquisitions in the domain of lighting. Uh, the largest of them all was an acquisition in Italy in the domain of Expresso Machine, a company called Saeco, which bought uh, to, the, to the headcount close to 2,000 people. Now, you also manufacture health care equipment, uh, X-ray machines, MRI scanners. Uh, are you concerned at all about how U.S. President Barack Obama's health care reforms might affect you in that particular area? Well, actually, in this particular domain, the real key question is when will be the end of uncertainty? I think uh, the biggest question today is not so much the content of the reform. The biggest issue for us is when will the uncertainty end and then uh, professionals in healthcare can actually make investment decision on the back of a more certain legislation structure. I think that's really uh, one part of the answer. The other part of the answer is the U.S. is less and less important in the overall portfolio. You need to realize that in this particular quarter, 60 percent of our orders came from the non-U.S. part yes. of the world as far as healthcare is concerned. Well, Mr. Savignon, CFO of Philips, we uh, do appreciate your time. Thanks very much indeed for joining us.